Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is the Lady Designer, and you are back here at my tropical franchise series. And as you can see, the lady has been spending so much money. <laughs> it's been ridiculous. I have 900 left, and I've been secretly like playing the game a little bit, trying to earn a few thousand more. But at some point, you just have to say, No, lady stop <laughs> stop you need to start recording again and just earn your money like you should but um yeah i have been spending <laughs> oh my goodness right okay so i did not make any blueprints as this is just like the little uh, european rustic stone and the rest are just uh plans well i am i just didn't have any money left and i was like you know what <laughs> we need to work on that before we uh, continue but um i'm not entirely sure yet if this is going to be the main path towards here maybe we will split it off uh, earlier or something like that but i did replace the path texture as well as you can tell because i don't know i think this is just actually looking a lot better but Man, isn't this, like, such a difference already? It's gonna take time, but we're definitely going to create a very nice-looking franchise mode series uh, map uh, zoo. <laughs> I did replace this animal talking point. It was right here in the middle, but I felt like maybe it's better to just put this one a little bit to the side. As you can tell, there are some uh, <laughs> there is some staff walking there with boxes because I did not move the flamingos for a little bit. One thing I did notice about the flamingos is that I did not have enough terrain. I, I had like a lot of water and not that much terrain. So that is why I was like, you know what, I'm going to remove the flamingos for a bit. I actually went crazy with like aquatic rocks in the water here until I realized that <laughs> It would reduce the water amount, like the swimming amount, and uh, would like make this bigger. So I had to remove a lot of the rocks again. Uh, this is actually an idea of someone in the comments. So this is the enrichment item. This is just the archway that we also use here that you can also download from the Blueprints collection. But look how cool that actually looks. So I did use like a few V of X's because obviously this one is lowered into the ground. I still have no idea how these flamingos uh, are using it, but I love the idea and it still works as an enrichment item in their habitat. So as you can tell, the waterfall and metal frame, they still work even though it's, it's, it's more sunken or lowered into the ground. But it looks beautiful, so thank you so much for that idea. Uh, we do not have any uh, species food enrichment, so we do need to uh, make sure to research that. I, I know what you're thinking, the coverage is way too, um, too much. It is, but as you can see, it's not reducing the plants. I have the feeling, but correct me if I'm wrong, I have the feeling that maybe because a lot of people want to like create beautiful habitats and stuff, also, in franchise mode, I think maybe the coverage will only count when you play on hard mode. But if you guys know if that is correct or not, do let me know in the comments down below, because I'm just guessing here. But I just noticed that it's just not doing anything. So plants like that... Oh, it is actually... No, it's the hard shelter going down now. Ooh, okay, so maybe I need to uh, focus... Okay, wait, let's see. The heart shelter was good, but I was testing it with only one flamingo. Where was that little peak of light coming through? Oh, that's over there or something. Oh, I like that, actually. But that is definitely... What is that? Oh, that's moving poop. <laughs> it almost looks like some kind of mouse going... Uh, through the hay or something like that, but that's uh, that's uh, moving poop. <laughs> okay, oh, okay. The 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 swimming water is actually actually going down a lot. I feel like I should first go and try to fix that by just removing 
more of the aquatic rocks. Just gonna see what this, this is going to do. Like their welfare is still pretty okay. So I don't think we should worry too much about that. Nothing is really happening here. The water now actually is good, but I do not know if these are all the flamingos. No, there are more flamingos uh, being brought in shelter. Okay, so uh, I actually think that maybe if I just remove a few of these small aquatic rocks that I put down here, uh, it, it, it might be reducing a little bit of their traverse area, so maybe I should just remove that line, tiny little tad. But honestly, 81% uh, welfare, like who is complaining about that? I think that's actually very good still. So, oh wow. The rain also looks very beautiful, doesn't it? Oh man, I forgot how beautiful this looks. Well, we are earning money quite fast. You know what I did do? And that is something I'm going to do for a lot more habitats. Oh, actually, this bin can go. I, I moved like the educational signs to the other side of the edge because I feel like most of the time it's ruining like the viewing inside of the habitat. Uh, placed down a lot of the European benches, made them brown on the edge right over here. And, and I, in general, just put down like a lot of the donation boxes, uh, but all on the other side. So as far as I can tell, oh, there's another bin. Hello, lady. I guess you are the inspector. Can I click you? Oh, you, I can. The zoo inspector. So she is going to rate and rank. Well, this one is hopefully going to be uh, <laughs> ranked good enough. But we have to wait and see about that. Uh, but we definitely need to do some research because the flamingos still need like the forge box. Gosh, I can't believe I'm talking for minutes already <laughs> without basically doing anything. We have the cutie cute uh, otters here and the tapirs. And I think this is probably the next habitat that we're going to focus on regarding detailing and stuff. Like, obviously, like, the first few habitats, we don't have that much money, so I can't do that in the first go, so I will do uh, probably the habitats that are more barren uh, at some point, um, a bit more offline. There is still a lot of work to do. So we are going to add another animal today, because you guys... Oh my god, wait a second. We did get puppies in here, didn't we? Oh, look at this one. Oh my freaking goodness. Look at this one. <laughs> How many babies do we have in here? Oh my god. I love the fennec fox so much. They are so cute. We have one, two, three. Is that three boys? Oh my goodness. Three boys. Are you kidding me? Okay, where, where are the others? Okay, this one is sleeping. Oh, I feel sad that it's raining, but I guess they don't really mind. Oh, you're <laughs> sleeping on this thing. But I guess they don't really mind. Oh my god, you have such a cute face. Oh my god, look at those dark eyes. <laughs> oh my god, like... Can you imagine these parents already? Too adorable, and now these... Young ones are like, oh my god, I want to cuddle you. I want to cuddle you. You're so adorable. We are going to add another animal because you guys did vote on the community wall again. Thank you so, so much for that. You guys all, oh my god, all these poor people. Voted for the Bengal tiger. I asked you guys what uh, other uh, Asian animal to add to our lovely uh, tropical... <laughs> rain tropical franchise zoo so let's let's have a look in the i love the rain though it looks beautiful so i'm not complaining like these guests will probably complain <laughs> bangle tiger oh oh you're an elderly no 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 i'm not gonna get an elderly they're actually not even that expensive i do want to get the youngest ones and see what are the cheapest ones? Uh, oh, are we gonna get a white one? Because I... Oh, I I am tempted. 
Really? But you are pretty young. Okay, we have two, uh, 21,000 conservation credits. That's not like that much. I, f I feel like I'm, I'm gonna... Um, I find you a little bit too expensive still. Like, a little bit too much. This one doesn't have like two great stats either. This one looks good, but this one is 1300. 2000 is not that bad. Shall we just do it? It's a male, 4.1 years old. Let's just do it. Okay, I have a male. Now I'm gonna get a female. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. it this may not be the perfect couple. I, I cannot compare their mates. Not yet, no. It may not be the perfect couple, but we have a white Bengal tiger. And they are so extremely beautiful. So, uh, I'm actually happy. We did spend a lot of conservation credits, but you're leaving the zoo. Um, you ha gave four stars. I'm actually a little bit disappointed because the five stars are for panic box. Like, why? No, but I, I, I guess it makes sense. Oh my god, it's actually quite busy in here. It actually does make sense a little bit, maybe, because of the, um, the space that they have. And while well, the other habitat is, is clearly not finished just yet. I feel like, let's have a look at our research here. Should we maybe get another vet? No, no, we should not do that because I think it's going to take quite some time. What well, should we do that? What does it cost? We actually are, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to train you just so we have a little, <gasps> oh, what was that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're on the path now. <laughs> um, it's it's really just so we can do a little bit more research. Look, and you have a high workload, the other one. So I guess that's all right. I'm going to train you. Many of you were actually saying like training is the best way to go for. So I feel like we should just go and try and train. You have a low workload, but we have a high... Uh, an educator here with a high workload. So I actually do think that we should get another educator in here as well. And I'm gonna put you in the everything work zone. Oh, right. Um, I forgot about that. Uh, I <laughs> in the previous episode, you guys were all like, oh yeah, you need to, you need to make sure that you have like uh, different staff buildings or at least more nearby because this is such a far walk and, and like the keeper was not able to to feed all the animals in time. And, and I did put these down with the uh, Fennec Fox episode. Um, might not been might not have been in the in speed build, but we have a bigger uh, no well not a bigger staff room. We have a bigger keeper's hut. And we have a staff room right over here. So they are connected to the everything roster as well. I think, well, how many do we have right now? You are you guys actually sad that I should get another keeper in? So, oh, we actually have now the, okay. Hmm, okay, okay, well, let's, let's do it like this. We're gonna have another keeper. Wait, ah, oh, you vandalist. Okay, I did replace that one how is our our what is it called mechanic i'm gonna train you as well uh i'm not really sure what that is about but it uh, might have been just a coincidence and we the guard is doing all right as well this one has a high workload we do have we do only have two shops right or yes yeah, so we have two shops with two geez oh it's actually really busy you know what we should do the picnic benches are not that busy. I am gonna get some more facilities here. So I wanna get one more for food. I actually remember back in the days that we should just have the same type right next to each other. It's not hiring any staff, so we should actually get three more vendors in. I think. Oh my god, look at me hiring so many people. <laughs> and we're just gonna put these on everything for now. We, we need to focus on our, uh, oh god, uh, on our work zones very soon. So we definitely are going to work on that. Does everyone now have, no, you are, oh, okay, I'm gonna, 
make some new work zones right now. Why do I hear you that close right over here? Oh, you're actually doing the educational talk here. Oh, you were talking about climate change. Oh my God, I absolutely love that. <laughs> That's really cool. I didn't know it was also about other things than animals. So I do really like that. We have a flamingo keeper's hut right over here, which actually doesn't make sense because this is also a lot closer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the flamingo habitat is simply not going to use that one anymore. It's also not going to use that one anymore. We're, we're going to use these two because these are a lot more nearby each other. So that is a good thing. Then we have well, the everything. I think, well, now everything is in everything. And we need to make more. So this is the otters and tapirs. So we're just going to make uh, otters and tapirs work zone right over here. And then we're going to do the same. But then we're going to make one for the fennec fox, uh, fennec fox and otters and tapirs. Perfect. Okay, so this should lower the workload. And I think I think this is going to be all right. And, and we're going to just make sure that we can train all our staff to like as, as, as fast as possible, because the higher they are trained, the more efficient and faster they are going to work. So that is going to be perfect. Okay, I actually need to unpause the game for a little bit. But I am really excited to start working on this area here as well, because I, I think this is going to be some kind of indoor building. And then, ugh, yeah, it's, it's going to look a lot better with like a lot of plants and, and, and rocks and stuff around the whole place. But, oh, yes, I'm actually really missing out on the, um, the Forge Box feeder or I, I'm not really sure what that name is. Or the flamingos, because that is something that we definitely need to maybe just integrate to right next to each other right over here. Uh, but we need to do the research for that. So let's go back, because that is the whole reason why we started to hire. Uh, perfect, thank you. Started to hire another vet so we could do more research. So I'm actually going to put you on here. What did we do? right now so you are now researching level two which is the breeding uh research bonus food enrichment and toy enrichment and we did unlock a toy enrichment and food a food bonus i'm not really sure if they really need that at this point but well, we could have a look at where are you oh there you are kitty the nutrition, last meal quality. Let's let's go and make sure that our animals have the best quality that we can give them at least. And uh, we're gonna give this one a grade two food quality right now, which is hopefully going to be all right. Okay. Um. So we have plenty of donation boxes right over here. I actually wonder if we need this one if if people are going to use that well that, there we go <laughs> and they did and how about this one in the corner i think that's gonna be all right but we're definitely going to hide them a little bit more in a in a later stage because i'm just really not a fan of um of the boxes and i i think the way how we did this right over here is actually going to be perfect oh, man it doesn't stop raining these poor people oh god i think we have um <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put you here. Uh, we are researching for some better enrichment and stuff, but oh man, just look how this looks, guys. I'm really happy. I'm really happy with this. Oh, look at that one. That is swimming. Yep. Yep, this is oh, <laughs> this this is looking so much better already than what we what we did. I actually, did I mention that I I just put some hay beddings here and there as like the idea 
it being some nests. I'm not really sure if they are going to use it, but not as a nest, obviously, but... I, I don't really like the idea. There's one over here, and then, of course, they can just lay down in their uh, cave right over there. Right, we have Bengal tigers, so I think we should just uh, go and build a habitat for them. We do not have that much money, so I, um, yeah, I, I need to save a little bit, but I'm gonna try to make uh, something out of it. Maybe not completely detailed yet, but we will get there. We will get there at some point, but um, I, I think we can get pretty far at this point, so let's get started.
Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you the half finished Tiger Temple <laughs> because obviously <laughs> $1400. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, uh but I'm really happy with what where this is going. Oh, I'm really happy where this is going. Uh but yeah, uh, ta -da! there's really <laughs> nothing in this habitat to even use these ugly shelters just to make sure that they uh they, it meets their requirements oh my god okay but this is for for those of you watching the channel for a while now this is the overpass that i built for koali zoo and i don't know it, it was also bengal tiger habitat I, I think it was was it the siberian no it was the bengal tiger habitat i think uh, so, yeah, when I thought of a Bengal tiger, I immediately thought of this overpass. So I really just wanted to use that one. I really hope that you are going to use this overpass instead of laying down here. <laughs> but, uh, okay, let's have a look. Oh, their welfare is actually really good right now. Terrain could be better. Okay, 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 okay. I'm, 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 I'm on it. Wait, wait. <laughs> Want to see that? It doesn't look perfect. I remember that. Oh, actually, this is really cool. <laughs> I do really love that. <gasps> the other one is coming too. Oh my goodness! You're kidding me. Oh, you're gonna lay down there. <laughs> but this is this is just awesome. This is just really cool. I I don't like it that you're. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but let's go and enjoy this. Uh, but this is this is just really awesome. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, you you are using a little bit of a, a wonky route, but yeah, I, I knew that would happen, but it works. It works! <laughs> we have an overpass that works. Okay, so you can download this one yourself. The only trick is, I, I do know some people uh, ask that, like, how does that work with your fences? The trick is to just have a no barrier underneath there so this is just one big habitat connected with this overpass right over here and oh yes okay so they're gonna have well, well they already have this water where they can like deep dive and stuff because that is like one of the things they added a while back deep diving for tigers so i absolutely love that so hopefully they are going to use uh, this water but as you can tell uh we definitely still need to work on this Oh, what, one of the things I really wanted to do, uh, they are not able to escape or anything like that. So I guess that's, that's, that's going to be all right. Uh, but one thing I did want to do is I actually want to, oh my goodness. I actually want to reduce the amount of, well, not pretty much reduce it, but I want to make sure that it's not getting any bigger. Although looking at this. We actually could just, like, make the water area just a tiny little bit uh, bigger. Maybe maybe somewhere over here. Maybe that could work. And then we already have enough space for them again. And hopefully this did help. Oh my god, what <laughs> What did I do? Um wait, why is social okay stressed? Um oh my goodness, that is really bad. That is a really low welfare. Uh food and stuff. Okay, wait, let's have a look. Oh, it's actually still not enough. It is a little bit bigger. Look at them all using their new water section. <laughs> But we, I think we can we can um, work with this. Like this is a little tiny bit reduced. I I think this is going to be all right. The hard shelter is still a thing. It's still an issue. But what we could do that is the other option that I had is make sure that we select the greater flamingo right over here. I'm going to give contraceptives to pretty much. All the females at this point uh, the highest rating is one golden female and that's a baby uh, so I'm gonna go for another bronze one so only two females are able to reproduce so it's not going too fast I think that's a smart thing to do at this point oh wait we can have 
More money. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Bengal tiger arrived. Great flamingo has matured. Are you kidding me? Are these so fast? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you <Yeah, Greece. laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. That is something we need to work on. I actually do feel like we just want to make sure that we're going to keep the highest ranking fennec fox and that should be this one but that's not the baby uh i actually did adopt this one but i want to like continue our, our reproduction so what i actually want to do is i want to keep kader or something like that and the rest is going i'm sorry but this is going to be my uh, center training center. I'm going to sell them on the market. Uh, this is going to be my new strategy, I think. So we have Kadar should still be in here somewhere. I'm not really sure if I can find you that fast, but we could give it a go. Fahim, of course not. Of course it's the last one you would click. <laughs> is there another one? There's Kadar. Oh, Kadar is the one that was sleeping over there. Okay. Uh, so, Kadar, we're gonna find you a little girlfriend. I want to see your stats. Look at that. That's just perfect. Actually, it does not really matter. I think this one is the best one to go for. Boom! And I'm gonna send you sh Shaista or something like that. I'm gonna send you Shaista to the, uh, the habitat. And then you hopefully are going to... Uh, Produce some more... Oh god. Oh god. Wait. Animal has escaped. But is that right over here? Oh god. No! Oh no! Oh my goodness! How did you get out? I was pretty sure that you were not able to escape. Advai! Do we have money for that? Okay, we do. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Okay, wait a second. That is not what I wanted. Where are you? You are here. So I wonder if I go to the traversable area. There's no sign. So the question is, was that maybe a little tiny accident? Because this should all be good. There is no warning at all. And like, if there is like a clear spot where they can escape, then they will be running there all the time. So, um, <laughs> it's fun. It's fun to have an animal escape once in a while. So I guess it's all right. But maybe it may have been somewhere over here. But as of right now, I'm not really too worried about that. What I am worried about is how this habitat looks. So I do feel like we should go back in. Although I do say that, but we are actually recording for quite some time now. Did I actually show you guys the rest? I actually don't think I did. Oh, this is not what I wanted, so we need to close this off a little bit more. I actually want all of the guests to be standing right over here. And did I already... Oh, look at this. This is just the coolest viewing, isn't it? Like, obviously, it's so empty still. Oh, but this is just so awesome. Oh, 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 oh okay. <laughs> okay, wait, quickly, let's at least make sure that this habitat is properly functioning. I already did add the Bengal tiger in here, but did I also... Let's have a look at the work zone. I do not think it's added in a work zone. If it was, now I... Did do it again. <laughs> uh, now let's make, a look, make sure that the educators... Okay, this is in the everything roster. So then we go to the educational tab. So we have four animal talking points. We have two educators. Um, March, June. So this one, I think we're going to change that one to uh, October. Let's make this one December. I think this is going to be the best way to make sure that all the educators 
are in time if they need to do the、uh, educational stuff. Let's have a quick look at our、uh, cash fee. We have. We have the blood pumpkin right over here, and we have this enrichment item right over here. You are really hungry. Oh my goodness, this is just ridiculous. You are really hungry, so we. I just want to make sure that you're not going to die <laughs> before the next episode.、Uh, I want to give you another. Let's just give a big plate, just to be sure. I think the rest, like you have a ninety-three percent welfare, which is really good. I think we do need to just change this.、Uh, there's too much long grass in here. You like soil, so we're just gonna make this a little bit of soil, just to give you guys an idea of what my plan actually is for this habitat. Like, obviously, this is going to be a tiger temple. So you do like some more coverage here.、Uh, so shall we just put down a few trees just to、um, just for now?、Uh, wait, they can climb, right? So maybe we should just go for a property and then a climbable tree.、Uh, I'm not really sure if this is the tree that I have selected right now. I like these trees always.、Uh, I'm not gonna keep them, but. We're just gonna use them for now.、Uh, oh, that's maybe not smart because they can escape. Just、uh, another one. I, I think one more or maybe two more, and it's already done. Oh no! Okay, we need we need a few more. <laughs> we need a few more. Can we just squeeze one in here? This is just to make sure that it's it's green for the idea. Okay. <laughs> This all looks good. Oh, let's have a quick look at the genetics because. Ooh, 83. Now I do know that the chances are, like the the chances are the highest to get white cups if both parents are white. But we hopefully will get like offspring in white. Maybe we are lucky.、Uh, I actually did not figure that still out how the breeding exactly works.、Uh, but yes, okay. Talking about the tiger temple. Uh, I actually want to play around a little bit more with like this this temple style, probably here in the back. Like maybe、uh, I have not been in Pidey Daisa, but I do know that they have something with like a temple theme. So that is something that I have in my mind as like a little bit of inspiration.、Uh, so yeah, something like a temple right over here, and.、Um, Well, we're gonna use the temple pieces like a lot everywhere around here, I guess. And right over here is gonna be a little bit more natural, maybe. And then <laughs> this where the hideous、uh, shelters are now. These are obviously temporarily. I wanna make some kind of、uh, like maybe some temple viewing. Maybe we can have like these.、Uh, Wooden panels on the floor right over here, and、uh, and make some kind of cave shelter for them. And right over here, I want to build some kind of backstage、uh, building where we're probably going to add like the the keeper's door as well. We're going to integrate it. So this is going to be yeah more of like an indoor backstage building. That is the plan. But as you can tell. There is a lot of work to do still, but I am. If you look from here, I am very happy with how this is looking. Like, definitely. Oh, oh. Well, I rather see you being boxed than that you escape. <laughs> but I think, I think. Oh, oh. What we need? What do we have? Wait. Why does it say three? Turn over a new leaf. Release three new herbivores. Oh, well.、Uh, no, we don't have any herbivores. I was about to say we have the fennec fox, but I think we're just gonna put the fennec fox in the trading center real quick. So, um, oh, well, we already have. Okay, so we need、um, age males. Oh, okay. So golden one is fifteen hundred. They're not actually bringing that much. Conservation credits in, but you know what? I'm just gonna put them up for 100, and I'm gonna put you up for 100. 
Uh, wait, this one is a golden one, so maybe we can we can trade this one for like say two two fifty or something. And then we're gonna that is that one is a little bit older though. And this is a female. She does not have. Oh, okay. We can only quick trade her for some money. All right, all right. So yeah, if you see the ladies Tropicana, I think uh, our zoo is called in franchise mode. Then uh, that is my Fennec Fox. Hopefully you will enjoy. I, I, I don't think that anyone watching right now is the person that is going to uh, get that Fennec Fox. But if so, that will be super funny. So do let me know in the comments down below if that is the case. But yeah, do let me know, of course, what you all think of this new tropical franchise episode with these beautiful tigers. Absolutely love them. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.